Hey guys, what's up? It's Pat here from Mountain Sledder. We have here in front of us the 2024 Ski-Doo Freeride model. This thing has a lot of changes uh, for this year from model year 2023. So we're gonna go over all that and let you know what's up. On this free ride for this year, we have the DS4. That's the Pilot DS4 ski. So this is the same ski that first came out on the Skidoo Summit with Expert Package in 2023. So basically the, the way that this ski differs from the DS3 that's more common on the Summit lineup is uh, the keel is moved forward and has a slightly different profile at the tail of the ski and uh, the rubber is different as well. So basically what that does is uh, it works to keep the ski more flat and uh, just gives a little bit more uh, precision as you're riding rather than sort of the loose kind of uh, easygoing steering of the DS3 ski. The spindle has been revised just to give a little bit more stability and that's sort of the generally the idea for this sled is Skidoo wants to build something that has a little bit more stability for its athletes and the really hard charging riders uh, the guys that are doing big hits uh, really gnarly approaches into jumps and stuff like that where you want to have a little bit more stability and control in it. So part of that is the 36 inch ski stance. So the rest of the Summit lineup with the exception of the base model Adrenaline has gone to 34 inch ski stance, which makes it a lot easier to sort of tip up and hold on a side hill edge as you're waking, making your way through the trees. But for the free ride, uh, big landings, big hits, hard approaches, uh, the, the riders have said, hey, we want that extra little bit of stability that we get out of a 36 inch ski stance. And in fact, this sled, when you're riding it, you can feel that it is a little bit harder to tip up than the Summit uh, sleds are. And uh, you know, that was very intentional from the designers and the people that are riding them and requesting that. These shocks are new for this year. So this is a KYB Pro Easy Adjust three position clicker shock, and it's a 40 millimeter shock. Um, so you can just quickly change the setting from soft, medium, and firm right here. And it's got a stiffer calibration for this year. So it's about 50% stiffer than it used to be. It's not new, but uh, the free ride is known for having the sway bar quick disconnect. So we'll just show you that. Uh, it's pretty quick and easy to do. Basically just pull the spring down on this guy and that guy. And there you go, your sway bar is disconnected. And it's pretty easy to just pop back on too if you want. So you can kind of change the uh, tip up characteristic of the sled throughout the day as you like just by popping that thing off. Okay, so moving back to the rider cockpit area, new for 2024. We have a shorter riser. So this is the 120 millimeter, 4.7 inch riser. It's just a little bit lower than what was on the free ride last year and just gets that rider into a bit of a lower knees bent athletic position, ready to soak up those big bumps and those big hits and just stay in control when you're riding off trail. And of course this model right here has the 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen display that is an option for spring check orders. You can get it on the free ride as well for those that are curious. Uh, we also have the adjustable brake lever. Uh, I really like this. You can just dial it into your, your hand in comfort. But basically it's really simple. You just spin this little dial here and that brings the lever either closer to the handlebar grip or farther from the handlebar grip based on just the size of your hands and the comfort and where you like it. Gives you a little bit more control.
So the biggest change for the free ride for 2024 is the use of the Team Motion XT rear suspension in here. That's that fixed rear arm rear suspension, so it doesn't have the pivot of the Team Motion X rear suspension. And it's also got a narrower 15 inch uh, track with full width rods. So it's not a flex edge track. It's a new, it's a Powder Max X Lite track that's 15 inches wide. So we'll tip the sled up and we'll take a closer look at that stuff. So pretty good snow here today. You can see, sorry about that. You, it's a little bit hard to see some of the suspension components, but we've been having fun in the snow today. So anyways, this is it here. You can see the, the rear arm. This is basically what constitutes the difference between uh, the T-Motion XT, which this is, and the T-Motion uh, X. So that's there. This is the uh, 15 inch wide Powder Max X light track. Um, and this 15 inch track shaves off, depending on the track length, between 2.9 and 3.5 or 6 pounds, basically from the track, just by taking that inch of width out of it. Um, so the, the rods run all the way through, as you can see, you don't get any of the, the flexing of the edge that you do on the flex edge track that you'd find on the Summit X, for example, or the Summit Adrenaline sleds. The rear shock does have an adjustment, one of those three position adjustments. So you can change the setting from soft, medium to hard very easily just by reaching back there and switching it over. And you can do it when the skid's full of snow, but it's easier if you do it in your shop before you head out for the day. So the free ride for 2024 comes in four track options. Uh, this one is the 146 by 2.5 inch paddle, 15 inch wide. And this sled is the Turbo R and it's pretty insane. It's been a lot of fun today. It's a wheelie machine. Uh, it's about as wild as you can imagine it is. But you can also get the free ride in a 154 with the two and a half inch lug or 154 with a three inch lug or also a 165 with a three inch lug. So those are the four different track options. And of course you can get it 850 E-Tech or the Turbo R, the E-Tech Turbo R, which is obviously very fun on this sled. So we want to get back out there do a couple more wheelies, enjoy what this thing has to offer, and hope you can get out on snow soon too.